So, brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated into Christ's holy church. We are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the Spirit. All this is God's gift offered to us without price. So I present to you, Brandon Dean and Stephen Arias Rodriguez for baptism. So, uh, Stephen, Brandon, I have uh, three questions to ask of you. First, on behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? If so, say, I do. I do. Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? If, if so, say, I do. I do. And finally, do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in His grace, and promise to serve Him as your Lord in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races? If so, say, I do. I do? Yeah, I do. All right, just want to make sure. All right. <laughs> so now I address the congregation. Baptism isn't something that happens in isolation or by yourself. It's something that happens in community. It is a commitment together as the church. So I'm going to be asking you, church, uh, two questions, and you are speaking on behalf of the capital C Church. So, do you, as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? If so, say, we do. We do. Will you nurture one another in Christian faith and life and include these two persons now before you in your care? If so, say, we will. We will. Let us pray. Eternal God, when nothing existed but chaos, you swept across the dark waters and brought forth light. In the days of Noah, you saved those on the ark through water. After the flood, you set in the clouds a rainbow. When you saw your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought through the Jordan River to the land which you promised. In the fullness of time, you sent Jesus nurtured in the water of a womb. He was baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Pour out your Holy Spirit to bless these gifts of water and those who receive it, to wash away their sin and clothe them in righteousness throughout their lives, that dying and being raised with Christ, they may share in his final victory. All praise to you, eternal God, through your Son, Jesus Christ, with you and the Holy Spirit, lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At this time, I'd like to invite uh, uh, Brandon to come forward. All right. So first, before we go and get baptized, just give, take a moment. Um, take a moment, just breathe, this in, breathe in. <laughs> breathe out. And uh, I'm just going to give you some time to share anything you like. Uh, informal, anything that you like, whether it's your testimony, your faith, or just a declaration of faith to the church community. Um, pretty much, it started Go and, to, uh, to like online games. Like our whole friend group, we used to play like PlayStation, and Stephen joined the party and was like talking about like Jesus, and we all just kind of went along with it. That's pretty much how it started. Mm. All right, so. As you uh, are baptized, when you go down, it's going to represent that you are dying to your sin. All of your past life, your imperfections, they die with Christ. And then when we, you come out of the water, you're going to be living again. A brand new life, made new, a new creation in Christ. All right? Ready? All right, so I'm going to have you stand over here. Yeah, yep, yeah. and turn around and face me. All right, you're going, to go, you're going to go down that way. All right? All right, go ahead. Yes. Yep. And then, ready? Ready? All right, Brandon Dean, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are buried with Christ in death. And you are now raised to life, a new creation. Good? All right. <laughs> Steven, come stand right here. Well, so Stephen has very appropriately worn his uh, PlayStation t-shirt. 
Uh, I'm st I still need to join this uh, video game group because apparently it's also a Bible study. Uh, that Stephen, uh, you want to share uh, your your testimony and your commitment to faith? So it all started back in quarantine. You know, I was lost in my faith. I didn't know um, where I was. I was depressed, lonely. I really just didn't know who God was until um, one day on my for you page on TikTok. I just so happened to scroll through a Christian TikTok and more came by and really shocked me. You know, I found God again and from there I just gave my life to Christ and here I am today with, and preaching and coming souls and yeah, it's been a blessing all thanks to God. Amen. 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 All right. So we're just going to turn. So, uh, so Steve, uh, was born in a Roman Catholic family, so he was baptized as an infant, uh, but he wanted to remember his baptism. So uh, today, uh, just like you don't get married twice to the same person, right? Uh, so, but you can renew your vows, right? There's, we see that a lot. So here, uh, Stephen is going to remember that he is baptized through this, uh, through this holy act. All right, ready? All right, you're going to turn. Go ahead, cross your arms. Ready? Hold your nose. Ready? Yep. All right. So Stephen Arias Rodriguez, may you remember your baptism in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. With Christ, you die to all your sins, and you rise again a new creation in Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so, while, while we're here in the pool, I know I sent that an email, so I do want to make sure uh, we make the uh, invitation. If there is anyone who would like to remember their baptism, I have an extra towel. <laughs> I don't have an extra pair of swim trunks, but if you wanted to remember your baptism, I just want to make the, make the invitation now. I'm looking at Annette because she said she was on the fence. <laughs> would you like to, Annette? It, it's, yeah. it, it is. No, it is. <laughs> it's up to you. That's, um, she's coming. All right, here we go. She just, <laughs> All right. All right. Or everyone can get sprinkles, too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it is, but, yeah. <laughs> be safe, be safe. Yep. She came prepared with her towel. There we go. What color would it be? You got water shoes. All right, here we go. Yay! Come on. You need the glasses, Annette. I know, the glass. I have to make sure I get down the steps unless somebody's going to come here. I'm thinking we're going to throw All right. Oh, yeah, see, there's another step, right? Yep, and, that's it. and then one more step. And then one last step. I can't see that step. There we go. Okay. I'm already nervous. That's, right. <laughs> that's the reason why. Don't worry. Just give, it, just give it 10 seconds and you won't even know. That's not true. So, Anna, is there anything you, that you would like to share with the church family? Thank be to God. Thanks for daily breath. And it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to ask you to turn. Okay. And uh, this is what you're going to do. You're going to bend your knees ever so slightly. Okay, that's good. And then uh, use this hand to hold your nose. Hold your nose. So, mm -hmm. yeah, plug it so you, when you go down, you don't get water up your nose. But uh, when you go down, it's going to represent you dying to your sin. And when you come back up, sometimes I say try opening your eyes. If, you feel, if you're okay with water in your eyes a little bit. Oh. If you're not, then. <laughs> when you come up, you're a new creation in Christ. Amen. Amen. All right. Annette Clairvoy, may you remember your baptism in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are buried with Christ. And you rise again, a new creation in Christ. <laughs> it's a good thing it's just seconds, right? Yes. 